Hey everybody, welcome back to Rocket Tube. Uh, I'm Gar and I haven't been on camera for a very long time. Uh, reason being is that um, I have uh, quite a demanding job at the moment, so I work long shifts and really I just couldn't get the mojo to to actually get on camera. So I've done a few bits and bobs where I've just been filming with my phone every now and then when I can do it. But from now on, let's get a bit more uh, interactive with you guys. So today I'm going to be um, basically checking these bad boys out, right? So. I've got a bunch of um, Lipistius, so the basal trapdoor spiders from Thailand. And, well, they do what trapdoors do and they just disappear. I uh, want to rehouse them, basically. I want everything to be, everything that can, is suitable to be into these type of cereal enclosures. Uh, so anything that needs deep or tall things, they can go into that. So we're going to be basically digging these up and then I'm going to look at them. So please, if you like any of this at any point, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and share my shit around because um, that's the only way, it's the only way is you guys. And if you like or if you've got any questions, um, hit me up in the comments because I'm going to be a lot more interactive. Stick around. Oh, let's have a sneaky look before we uh, before we start. Oh, what have you got here? So this is the David Bowie head reporter, David Bowie, and you can just see. Oh, which way? That way. Put it in front of my face. She's got, uh, she's holding her egg sack there. So fingers crossed that this one has actually got eggs in it, because the last one didn't. And while I've got you, update on a previous video. So this one was the um, Ceratogyrus sandri. Um, from a video uh, that I entitled um, Ceratogyrus sandri, basically a, a love story. It was the breeding of these, and I thought that pairing video was actually a little bit special. So I'll tag that up uh, in the top so you can just go and see that one. But um, I know you can't see this, but so you can actually see this one just be here. She's molded out. So, absolutely stunning, and uh, I'm a bit gutted about it, but you know, shit happens. Uh, I need to check the mail, so we'll do that as well in a video coming up this week. Uh, it looks like molted within the last kind of week. So I'll give her three or four weeks before pairing her up, if I've got the mail. Obviously, if the mail is, is ready to go. Right, so I've got a big tub to start with, right? Because these bastards uh, can bite. Uh, they're quite defensive. Uh, and I don't want these running around the place. So, really good tip for you guys. If you haven't got like a big tub like this with sheer walls, because tropical spiders can't climb uh, glass or plastic. They're just not built to do it. Uh, and also another good tip is to do it in the bath. So we're going to need obviously a tub, right? That's first. Let's do the massive one first, I think. So the uh, Lipistia species Kao Luang. I hope uh, to God that this one is still... Well, there's bits. Right. So there are remnants of... Oh, I can't see. So just here remnants of uh, cockroaches. 
that have been eaten and discarded they can't actually digest everything and they'll throw little food boluses out now i need uh, i'm doing this as i go along right so i need obviously tweezers and a nice catch cup First things first, let's have a quick look to see if he's in there. Yes. In fact, I'm not actually going to need to... To actually, I'm going to tip it out, but... A spider in there? Yes. Right, so it's just in there. It was literally just at the top of it. I'm really sorry I didn't catch that on camera. But, uh, hold on a second, yeah. And I'll come over here and I'll get rid of this. Um, <laughs> I've got uh, like glue guns and uh, a, I don't know if you can see, but I'm making an, an ant, ant farm. I'll show you that one day too, maybe. Okay, so the spider's in here. Now I've got um, this camera on here that you can see, right? That's main sound. But sometimes, right, I'm gonna be switching onto my phone because that's 4K. I need to just watch. That's nice, nice little lid there, is it? Yeah. Two sec. Oh, there we are. I've actually got another tweezers right next to me for once. Now these are notorious, right? They like to play dead and then absolutely leg it. So you can see the size of this bad boy beer. Hmm. This big adult female. <laughs> Look at it. It just looks dead, but it's not dead, I promise you. There she goes. Come on. Maybe that leg's poking out. Okay, so this is Lepistia species Carl Luang. It's probably the biggest, uh, well, one of the largest species of Lepistius. Um, they are normally pretty, pretty small. You'll see the size difference now when I get the Onatus out. There we go. So after adjusting some lights, after adjusting the cameras, you can see her in all of her glory. Now this one was wild caught, right? So I was hoping that there was going to be an egg sack, but unfortunately, she molted last year, and phew, males are well impossible to see and find. Sorry, impossible to find. Um, there was one kicking about, but um, by the time. I managed to message back um, after finding this one had molted out. Uh, he'd, he'd actually died of old age. So it's a sad thing. Now these spiders, right, they're extremely long lived. So who knows how old this spider actually is and who knows how long it will live with me for. I'm hoping decades. But yeah, that's amazing. I'm just gonna pop it like that. Really, what I want to do is get just to go in. I'll just go in. Can I move off my tweezers then? You should be able to just go in, mate. See, they know they're absolutely nails, right? Because there we go.
so they know right that really they're armor plated nothing's really going to mess with them nothing really wants to mess with them and you can just push them along and it really just will not move I'm literally just, just slide it out because, like I said, you cannot walk up plastic or glass. I'll just pop the lid on now and uh, leave it to do its thing. And um, what is the most important thing to do uh, whenever you're rehousing spiders is to take your time, obviously, and make sure that the spider's fine. But in um, my, my opinion, What's even more important is to label it properly. If you, especially if you've got, you know, lots of diff or lots of different species of the same genus. And especially with things that you will never see, like a little burrow right down. So I'm quite lucky that with Postletheria, I can identify the species by pretty much looking at it but that just comes with years and years and years of experience um, if you just label it even if you just label it with a, like a anything like a late sticker or anything just make sure that it's done straight away so that you really really don't mess up what you've got so this is Lepistia species Kao Luang and I'm gonna have to get it old tub to find, to remember how to spell it. Not Lepistius, I can spell that. The Kao Luang part. Okay, so we're gonna do the um, Lepistius onatus next. Have a quick look around the tub to see if I can see it on the bottom. Nope. Okay, so. Now that's where the the trap is, yeah, right there. So there's the trap. And I could do with a torch. And of course, I don't have one, but I do have my phone. I can't see anything in there, so we're just going to have to um, tip it out, I'm afraid. so it's empty now we just have to go through very sift very slowly methodically until we find its tube take that out and hopefully oh that's it that's that's his tube there right i think yeah so there's its tube now we need to, this is there. Oh, it's molted and it's alive and it's fast, look. <laughs> Amazing. Right, let's catch it so that we can um, show you. So Lepistius onatus is uh, again, the same as the other trapdoor spider and it is orange and I'm hoping that we can get some kind of good views on it look at that in my opinion a much better looking spider than um, than the Carol Luang just because it's orange now he's covered in um, look at him see they like to just 
pretend they're dead. It's not, because I saw you run into snowmen. But yeah. Orange with black legs, or actually, I would say they're like black blue legs. The lighting doesn't, uh, really doesn't give, uh, give them any justice. Do them justice even, speak properly. And they are much more, well, they're much nicer, I think, than, um, than the Carl Luang. But this one here is an adult female. That kind of just allows me just to push it about the place to get a better look on camera. I promise you it's alive. <laughs> Absolutely incredible looking spider. And uh, one that is, well, for any kind of Asian or trapdoor enthusiast, one that's got to be in your collection. So we'll just pop that one in to its new tub. legs in. I don't want to drop you into it. Get your legs in, mate. There we go. And he now is back in. Come on, dude. There we are. Turn over. I don't like to see you on your back. Let's pop him in his um, enclosure. And then like slowly, 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 he'll just slide down because he's got no uh, ability to hold on to the, the plastic like a, not, like a true spider or it's ranchula at all. And now I'll just leave him there so that he can be uh, undisturbed and make his trapdoor hers. Sorry, I say he, I say he for everything though for some reason. Wicked, so while I label that last one up, that was Lepistio Sonatus, I'd like to thank you all for joining. Um, I'm gonna carry on and do it. Maybe I'll, I've got maybe two or three other Lepistio Sonatus to rehouse. That was the adult female though, so that is a, a much more um, impressive looking trapdoor spider to show you on camera. Um, I'll carry on doing that. Maybe I'll pop that on um, a video coming up in the next few weeks. But thank you very much for everyone for uh, watching again. Garth from Rock the Tube. Um, hit me up on the social medias if you've got them. And I will see you on the next one. Everyone stay safe. Take care.